Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The steering system of a vehicle is easily among the most important part of it. The type of steering system a vehicle has is based on the type of vehicle. Cars and trucks, which have an even number of wheels, use a rotating wheel steering system. Tuk-tuks and auto rickshaws, which have an odd number of wheels, use a steering column. This is much similar to the ones we use in our two-wheelers. Tracked vehicles, like tanks and construction vehicles, use a differential steering system. Here, the speed of the tracks is changed to get the required steering moment. All these topics are very interesting to talk about and ponder upon, but have you wondered how they work? At a glance, most of these systems seem very easy as if there really isn't much behind it, but you're so wrong. In today's video, we'll be talking about the different types of gear systems or gearboxes that are used in the steering system of a wheeled vehicle. The steering gears have two fundamental functions. The first one is to change the rotary motion of the steering wheel into the linear motion on the steering wheel linkage. The second function is to provide sufficient gear reduction so that adequate torque is provided to move the wheels. All this has to be done with the effort of the driver in mind. Before we talk about the various types of gears, it would be better if we talked about a topic called steering ratio. All bikes and bicycles have a steering ratio of 1 is to 1. Sports cars have a steering ratio of 12 is to 1. So what does all these mean? Steering ratio is generally the x number of degrees the steering wheel has to be turned or rotated to cause the front wheels to turn y degrees. This is always 1 is to 1 for cycles and bicycles as the handlebar is directly connected to the front wheel. However, this varies for cars and trucks. Let's assume you have to achieve one full rotation of your steering wheel to turn your front wheels by 36 degrees. This means the ratio is 360 is to 36, which can be simplified to 10 is to 1. Now that we have understood what gear ratios are, let's begin with the gearbox type. There are many types of steering gear boxes used in automobiles. In this video, we'll be talking about the four major types used in vehicles. The first one we'll be talking about is the worm and worm wheel steering. In this type of steering, a worm is connected to the steering shaft and a worm gear is connected to the worm. When the steering is rotated, the worm rotates. This rotates the worm gear. The worm gear is generally connected to the steering linkages which are connected to the front wheels. This system is most commonly used in tractors. Next up, we have the worm and roller steering. In the worm and roller steering, a roller is connected to the worm. The worm, as usual, is directly connected to the steering shaft. When the worm is rotated, the roller is also rotated along with it. Unlike the worm and gear method, where the gear is stationary, the gear here moves along with the roller. This displaces the connecting rods of the front wheels, which cause the wheels to turn. The next type of steering system is the recirculating steering system. In this system, a worm is directly connected to the steering wheel of the vehicle. Instead of a worm gear, we have a sector gear. The sector gear and the worm are not connected to each other directly. A sliding rack is present on the worm. Based on the direction in which the worm is rotated, the sliding rack moves according to it. Since the rack is connected to the sector gear, linear motion of the rack can cause rotational motion of the sector gear. This is how the front wheels are steered. The last one is the rack and pinion arrangement. The rack and pinion is the most commonly used steering system as it is very simple to build and is very easy to design. The rack and pinion systems are most commonly used in cars. A gear is connected to the steering wheel of the car. This gear is meshed with a rack. Turning the steering wheel turns the pinion gear. This in turn moves the rack back and forth. The rack is attached to the steering linkages that turn the front wheels. Well, that's it for today guys. Hope you understood how this system works. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.